The event you are referring to is known as the Transfiguration, and it is mentioned in the New Testament of the Bible in the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. According to the Gospel accounts, Jesus took three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, up a high mountain, where he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. During the Transfiguration, Moses and Elijah appeared and were talking with Jesus. This event is described in Matthew chapter 17 verses 1 to 8, Mark chapter 9 verses 2 to 8, and Luke chapter 9 verses 28 to 36. Moses and Elijah are significant figures in the Old Testament, representing the Law and the Prophets, respectively. Their presence with Jesus at the Transfiguration symbolizes the continuity and fulfillment of God's plan through Jesus. In the account, Peter, overwhelmed by the experience, suggested building three shelters for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. However, a voice from a bright cloud overshadowed them, saying, This is my son, whom I love, with him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. This affirmed Jesus' identity as the Son of God and emphasized the importance of listening to his teachings. The Transfiguration is a key event in the Gospels, highlighting Jesus' divine nature, confirming his identity as the Son of God, and connecting the Old Testament with the New Testament. The event where Jesus saw Moses and Elijah is known as the Transfiguration. According to the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke in the New Testament of the Bible, the Transfiguration occurred on a high mountain, Jesus took three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, with him. During the transfiguration, transformation of Jesus, Jesus was transfigured before the disciples. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. This change in appearance was a manifestation of his divine glory. Presence of Moses and Elijah, Moses and Elijah appeared and were talking with Jesus. Moses represents the law, as he received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, and Elijah represents the prophets. Their presence signifies the continuity and fulfillment of the Old Testament in Jesus. Peter's reaction, overwhelmed by the experience. Peter suggested building three shelters or tabernacles for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. Peter may have wanted to prolong the moment and honor all three figures equally. Divine Voice. A bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love, with him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. This voice affirmed Jesus as the Son of God and emphasized the importance of paying attention to his teachings. End of the encounter. After the divine voice spoke, the disciples fell face down in fear. When they looked up, they saw only Jesus. This indicates that Jesus alone is the ultimate focus, surpassing the significance of Moses and Elijah. The transfiguration is a significant event in Christian theology as it reveals the divine nature of Jesus, connects the Old and New Testaments and serves as a confirmation of Jesus' identity as the Son of God. The appearance of Moses and Elijah with Jesus at the Transfiguration carries symbolic and theological significance in Christian tradition. Here are a few reasons why Moses and Elijah were present with Jesus during this event, representatives of the Law and the Prophets. Moses and Elijah are significant figures in the Old Testament and are often regarded as representatives of the Law and the Prophets, respectively. The law, given to Moses, and the prophets played crucial roles in the Old Testament, anticipating the coming of the Messiah. Their presence at the Transfiguration symbolizes the fulfillment of the Old Testament in Jesus. Connection to Prophecy Both Moses and Elijah are associated with Messianic prophecies in the Old Testament. The presence of these two prominent figures reinforces the idea that Jesus is the fulfillment of these prophecies. Confirmation of Jesus' Identity the Transfiguration serves as a significant moment of confirmation regarding Jesus' identity as the Son of God. Having Moses and Elijah appear with Jesus emphasizes that Jesus is the culmination and fulfillment of God's plan as revealed in the Law and the Prophets. Discussion of Jesus' Upcoming Sacrifice According to the Gospel of Luke, Moses and Elijah were talking with Jesus about his departure, which he was about to bring to fulfillment in Jerusalem, Luke chapter 9 verse 31. This conversation suggests that they were discussing Jesus' impending crucifixion and the significance of his sacrificial death. Divine Approval The divine voice that spoke from the cloud during the transfiguration declared, This is my son, whom I love, with him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. This statement reinforces the authority of Jesus and underscores the importance of his teachings. In summary, 
The presence of Moses and Elijah at the Transfiguration highlights the continuity between the Old and New Testaments, reinforces Jesus' identity as the Messiah, and emphasizes the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies in him. Please subscribe my YouTube channel I hope you like this video thank you.